If you are a dentist looking for an exciting seminar full of enlightening information that will actually change lives, it's time to meet Dr. Anju Ely. My name is Dr. Anju Chaudhry Ely, and I practice in Novi, Michigan. I've been a general dentist for the last 16, 17 years, and for the last few years I've devoted a lot of my practice towards dental sleep medicine. The audience at my seminar will hopefully be able to incorporate an entire dental sleep medicine protocol, one that starts from the ground up so that they can learn how to screen their patients, how to treat their patients, how to work with physicians, and how to deliver effective oral appliances and learn how to do follow-up on those appliances. Dr. Ely is totally enjoyable, very pleasant person. She's genuine and totally committed and interested in helping spread the word about what we as dentists can do to impact the uh, health of our patients. We're teaching people the basic protocol required to run a dental sleep medicine practice. There are standards that we need to live up to, just as doctors have medical standards that they need to uphold, we also have medical dental standards that we have to uphold. Oral appliances is very unique in the sense that it's a medical problem with a dental solution. She was very easy to understand. She was very clear in her speaking. You could tell that she was using this therapy in her own practice. That was uh, very important to me. So if the patient had a sleep study and they do have sleep apnea, you're gonna wanna review their sleep test with them, okay? And believe me, you're one of the few physicians that's going to take the time to really, really, really review that sleep report with them. Even though I've been in the dental field for over 15 years, there was a lot of information that was new and that was very helpful to help our patients. I feel excited when I speak in front of an audience. I feel passionate about what I'm doing. Um, sleep apnea has touched my family very closely. I lost my father at a young age and I'm sure that it was definitely related to a complication with sleep apnea. So if I can help other families recognize the need to have their family members screened and treated, then I feel empowered. I think something that I've learned today that stood out the most is just all the different dental disorders that we see every day that we usually as dentists don't attribute to sleep apnea, but the correlation is there. One of the most important things I learned was how to look for obstructive sleep apnea in children. One thing that I was less aware of, okay, was pediatric sleep apnea. And since I've gotten involved, I've had so many friends come to me to ask me about their children, and I've realized how prevalent it really truly is. I'm very passionate about educating people and increasing the awareness of sleep apnea. Everyone seems very, very well aware of the dangers of other deadly diseases that are out there, whether it be smoking, heart disease, diabetes, but I feel like we have very, very limited knowledge of, of obstructive sleep apnea when the effects and the detriment to our health is so great. The first step to growing your practice and saving lives with our dental sleep medicine program would be to attend an upcoming two-day SGS CE seminar. For more information, visit sleepgs.com or call 855-978-6088.